Hello, everybody. Welcome to Bring It Awesome. It's your boy, Bamu Sugoi, and, uh, Kaki. Name's still pending. Anyway, Kaki. so, hey, hey, you're still team unknown, all right? So I'm pretty sure, like, my baby me says that word. <laughs> but that's not the hey, <laughs> It's right? confirmed. Kaki, so welcome, welcome back. And today we're going to be doing a box opening for Dual Power, which is a new set that just came out within the last few days. And for those of you that may not know about it yet, it's basically a generation set for Yu-Gi-Oh! So it has each one of the, uh, a different artwork for all the main characters, main monsters. And it also has cards from like some of their rivals, a lot along with their cards. And a lot of other miscellaneous tips and tricks because Konami. I guess. I'm allowed to say that. All right, well, let's get started. Uh, yeah. Glitter! Dude. Yeah. So first up, there's six packs that come in this set. Every card within this set, I do believe, is ultra rare. It also comes with this little pack, which contains the uh, alternative art for all of the signature monsters. You said that already. I would, uh, just, well, well, no. I just wanted to, because, you know, I... Oh, well, I know, I said it came with it. I just wanted to show them this was what that was. I'm sorry. Like, I, I, I just wanted you to follow the script. We have a script. It wouldn't sound so stupid, though. Anyway, so this is the new artwork for Dark Magician. Elemental Hero Neos. Neos! Scottish Dragon. The guy that got me started on Synchro Summoning. Number 39 Utopia. The card that got me started on Xyz Summoning. Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. Trash Bag. The card that got me started on Pendulum Summoning. And Geek Code Talker. My favorite Code Talker. But I still don't really use them. Did I swore your favorite code talker was power code with how much you put them in your decks. I really only had them in the one, just like DK. Yeah, one. Alright, so anyway. Conversation we'll each open time. three. So I'll just grab one from the center. Right. Uh, so I'll just grab one from the center. Yep. Ooh! Me. Like all special sets from uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah. It comes with its own playmat. Okay, this, this this one over here is bad. So we'll use this one. Yeah. So this playmat actually has the extra monster zones up here. Why and does Utopia have to share a space with Odd Eyes? I don't like that. It actually feels pretty nice. Great. So, uh, yeah. No, no Dark Magician Girl for the rest of this video. Sorry, guys. Anyway, uh, yeah, it looks pretty straight, right? Mm. I don't know. So this is the front side of the mat. This is the part with the actual mat on it. This is what the back side looks like. Dark Magician versus Neos. Anyway. Round one. Rip! We were supposed to do it at the same time. Sorry. So, ah, no. Oh, you know, there's enough space for both of us. I know. No more than this. Anyway, so I got the High Priestess of Prophecy. I can reveal three spell books. Sure, sorry. Okay, well, um, I was trying to share. You know, sharing is caring. I can reveal three spell books in my hand. Special summon from my hand. Okay. So I have to have three spell books. And this card to a special summon. Pretty alright. Once per turn, I can banish one spell book from my hand or graveyard to target one card on the field. Destroy it. Alright, that's pretty okay. I mean, I don't run spell books, so, you know, it is what it is. Silver Gadget. Don't really like gadgets, so it's alright. Um, Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries. Actually, I have not seen this one. Zombie Tuner. Level 3. Hmm. If your opponent controls more monsters than you do, Quickie. 
Okay, that's that's uh that was reaching and a steal. My apologies, guys. You can discard this card, reveal one card from your extra deck, and look at your opponent's extra deck, and it's all cards in the same name with the same name as that reveal card. That would imply that uh okay. Um that would imply that you know their extra deck. Or I guess mirror matches and stuff. <coughs> Salomon greats. But anyway. Yep, that's good. Um, Goki cage match. I don't know anybody who still plays Goki. Ah, field spell. Do, 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 do. And Mark of the Rose. Okay, everything's ultra rare. Oh, let's save that card. For my pack, I got Heretic King Dragon. Or uh, Heretic Dragon King of Atem. Atum. So, Atum. Atum. I was messing with the name. Ah. So uh, his effect is that he requires two level six dragon monsters to special summon, and uh, once per turn you can detach material from this card, special summon one dragon from your deck. Its attack becomes attack and defense becomes zero, as well as this card can't make an attack during the turn you activate this effect. So pretty standard heretic of dragon effect. Soul pendulum. Soul pendulum is you could target two cards in your pendulum zone, change each target's position or pendulum scale from uh, by one. So if you had a scale two, it'd be scale one or three. Yeah. It also says you can only use this effect once per turn. Each time your pendulum monster or monsters is pendulum summon, place one counter on this card. Uh. Pendle monsters on the field gain 300 attack for each counter on this card. You can remove three counters from this card during your main phase this turn. You can conduct one pendulum summon of a monster monsters in addition to your pendulum summon. So that actually gives you an extra pendulum summon on top of attack buffing and letting you change up your scales a little bit. Which is pretty nice if you're on pendulums. Next up, Heretic Seal of the Heavenly Spheres. This is the new Link monster for the Heretics. Oh, well, I guess it could just be Dragon Support in general, but it's part of the Heretic archetype. So this just requires two Dragon monsters uh, once per turn, or once per your opponent's turn. Uh, if this card is in the extra monster zone, you can tribute one monster from your hand or field, return one face-up card on the field to the hand. Then, if this card is tributed, you can special one one dragon from your hand or deck, make its attack and defense zero. You can only use that effect once per turn. Eternal Soul, special summon Dark Magician or Red Thousand Knives, or Dark Magic Attack from uh, your deck or your graveyard to your hand. I feel like this benefits you more than me at this point. So, so you can special on Dark Magician from your deck, hand, or graveyard. You can add Dark Magic Attack or Thousand Knives from your deck to your hand. And it also protects all your Dark Magicians. It essentially makes them unaffected by your opponent's card effects. Kill them by battle. They're all weak. And then lastly, we have Vision Hero Vion. So... He's a hero that's actually pretty good for any kind of hero deck you run. Because his effect is that when he's normal or special summon, you can send a hero monster from your deck to the graveyard. And then uh, you could use his other effect, which is once per turn you could banish one hero monster from your graveyard and add polymerization from your deck to your hand. So you could send malicious to the graveyard. And then you can use malicious effect, get another malicious uses effect, banish the malicious, and get polymerization, right? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> you know, you don't need this. You don't need this. You don't fusion summon. Mm -hmm. No, it's for Hanji's deck. Oh, okay. All right, pack number two. Round two. Rip! So, Shining Draw. The first one up. Would you like to explain this one? I know you wanted this one. Yeah. Alright. So, uh, the illustrious Shining Draw. I have to, um, draw, I have to draw this card for my normal draw, so, uh, yeah. 
Can't just keep it in my hand. It's a... Uh... Oh, that sucks. <laughs> like, that's an activation requirement. Anyway, I have to reveal it during the main phase one. So, during the main phase one, I can target a Utopia XYZ monster that I control and activate one of the following effects. I can equip any number of ZW monsters with different names on my deck or extra deck to it. Or special summon from the extra deck one Utopia XYZ monster with a different name by using that Utopia XYZ monster as material. And it's treated as an XYZ summon with a transfer of materials. Um, great for a Utopia deck. Um, even better if you run ZW weapons. I tried mix, mixing with that build. Um, it's giving me mixed signals. But um, I'll try it again now that I got Shining Draw. Yeah, that's an overall good card, except for the activation requirement. Next up is Photon Advancer. So Photon Advancer is if you control a Photon Monster on your field, you can special summon him from your hand. You can only special summon him once per turn this way. And he gains a thousand attack if you control another Photon Monster. After that is Arrow Mage Jasmine. She is... Uh, during your main phase, while your life points are higher than your opponent's, you can normal summon a plant monster in addition to your normal summoner set. You can also, uh, once per turn, if you gain life points, draw a card as a her second effect. Oh, get to Sorry. finally build a roomy deck. Ooh, got Galaxy Soldier. So, Galaxy Soldier is you could actually discard one light monster from your hand, especially summon him. Then you can. Go through your deck, not in defense position, by the way. But then you can go through your deck and add a Galaxy monster from your deck to your hand, which is good for either Galaxy Ice Photon Dragon or even Galaxy Knight. Or even Galaxy Soldier himself. You could actually search another copy of him, in which you can summon that other copy if you have another light monster in your hand, but you can't use its effect again because its effect is only once per turn. Lastly, Backup Supervisor. Backup Supervisor is. I think new in this pack. So she just requires two monsters, and her effect is if this card is linked summoned using backup secretary as material. Your monsters, this card points to uh, when they battle an opponent's monster at the end of the damage tip. You can special summon one cyber monster from your hand if this card is destroyed by battle. Or if this card in its owner's person is destroyed by a post card effect, you can special on one backup secretary from your hand, deck, or graveyard. You can only use this effect once per turn. Interesting. Oh. That was my next card. That was already? Wow, dang. I'm sitting here, Millie rocking. But anyway, so what I got was Lefty Driver. So it's uh, one of the new uh, synchro based cards. Um, it's a level 2 machine where if it's special summon, I can make this card level 3 until the end of turn, which helps me fine tune my um, you know levels for that good old uh, synchro summon. During my main phase, except the turn that this card was sent to the graveyard. I can banish it and add one righty driver from the deck to my hand. So, righty tidy, lefty loosey. So, there's that. Next. Oh, okay. So, I thought, I thought we were going to do a thing. No. Okay. So, next I got Hot Red Dragon Arch Fiend Abyss. Uh, Y'all already know what this is. Uh, yeah. Crimson Dangles. Anyway, you can target one face of a card your opponent controls in the case effects until the end of the turn. When this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you can target one tuner in the graveyard and special summon in defense position. Oh yeah, the big bad. I wonder if everybody still uses them, despite the fact that Savage came out. No. Oh. So, there's that. I got a Romage Jasmine all as well. Woo! Chaos Form. The new, um... Hyped Ritual card. And Necros Kaleidoscope. Ooh, one of us can build Necros. That will be a good idea. Alright, the final showdown. Round three. Rip! We're supposed to do it at the same time. Huh? That's uh, not fair. Here first. You first. You first. 
All right. So I got Necro's mirror. Um, yeah, I can special, I can ritual summon any Necro's ritual monster, tribute monster from the hand or field, or banish Necro's monster from a graveyard that have levels that exactly equal the level of the um ritual monster. I can only use the effect of Necro's mirror once per turn. If I control the monsters, I can banish this card and one Necro's monster from my graveyard, add a Necro's spell from the deck to my hand. Necro's has powerful search. Utopia Junior. So, Utopic Onomatopoeia. It is always treated as a Zubaba, Gagaga, -ga, Go Go Go, or Do 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 monster. During your main phase, you can special summon up to one of each of those archetypes. And. Yeah, I basically can't special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of the turn except XOZ monsters. You can only use that as a once per turn. Also, those monsters that are special summoned are in defense position. So, yeah, helps with XZ summoning, especially um, Telic Monsters and other generic um, rank fours. Evenly matched. I am so using this. Anyway, at the end of the battle phase, if the opponent controls more cards than you do, I can make my opponent banish cards from their field face down so they can have the exact same um, amount of cards as me. And if I control no cards, then I can activate this card from my hand. So they'll always have a minimum of at least one card because when I play this, I will already control it. But that's what's not the point. The point is, it's better than Pineapple Blast, which if you guys um seen all of the previous videos, I retro tech at least one um, old school card. So yeah, might go modern. I was wondering what you were pointing to. Why does that one get separated? Because I looked up the cards on ECG player, so I know which ones are like more expensive. So I'm trying to put those ones off to the side. Why does that even matter? I don't know. Yo, there's no such thing as a pricey card. Yeah, right. Anyway, El Shadal Construct. She, I do believe she's finally freed from her uh, banless prison. Anyway, one Shadal monster and one light monster must be fusion summoned. So again, really uh, special summoner outside of the extra deck. Like outright, if this card is a special summon, I can send one Shadal card from the deck to the graveyard. And at the start of the damage step, if this card battles a special summon monster, destroy that monster. If the card, this card is sent to the graveyard, I can add one Shadal spell trap in my graveyard to my hand. Oh, now I see why she's banned. She was pretty good. Next is Stardust Wish, because if you wish on a shooting star, you might get eaten by a dragon, but that's beside the point. Anyway. Uh, once per turn, if a Stardust Synchro Monster you control is attributed to activate its own effect, I can target that monster or special summon it. Oh, tribute Stardust, bring back Stardust, just to tribute him again. That's um, pretty abusive. Anyway, you can target that card, uh, special summon it. You can't activate cards or effects in response to that effect activation, or this card's effect activation. Anyway, monster special summon by this effect cannot be destroyed by battle while in attack position. Ooh, nifty. As for me, for my final pack, I got another copy of Abyss. Woo! Link Karibo. Aww. The new little Karibo. He's so adorable! He requires level one monster. It's pretty old, so. Um, Trickstar Foxglove Witch. Hmm. Still debating whether to build a Trickstar deck. I don't really know much about Trickstar. Basically, a fight damage and such. Uh, Gold Gadget and XYZ Change Tactics, which is for Utopia. Yeah, if you're supposed to summon a. Then, that's all I got. Utopia wants you to get. You pay $500 for this draw one card. And then, what? This is for me! Ah, uh, okay. So that was basically it for uh, Power Pack unboxing. Power Pack. Uh, that came right off the top. Um, we got some pretty good pulls. Um, anything that, you, uh, that you're that you going to use for one of your decks? Because personally, I'm using Evenly Matched. Like, that was my uh, call to arms. Looks like we got Galaxy Soldier. It's All probably right. it for me. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Oh, both of you. Both of these Bane, I'm sorry, Abyss. I wanted Bane too, but uh, both of these Abyss. I'm going to make a, um, a Rome Age deck. 
the shining draw. The oh, obvious card. Also use Easter. <sighs> yep. Well, then I'll use the other three. Okay. So that was our unboxing, guys. I don't know. Appreciate you sticking around. Uh, this was pretty. This was pretty fun. Um, we hope that there's more uh, power packs in the future. Most likely with the rivals. I would like to see the rivals instead of the main protagonist. Cause um, yeah. I wish we had some of the better cards, but that's what happens when you have a random assortment of cards stuffed into little plastic wrappers. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Tell us down in the comments if you got the pack as well, what you got. And Feel free. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to cut across you. My bad. My bad. Feel free to let us know in the comment section down below uh, what other content you would like us to um, post regarding um, Yu-Gi-Oh! deck profiles, um, deck unboxings. I'm sorry. Power pack unboxings. And um, other stuff, just uh, feel free to let us know. And hope to talk to you guys soon. This is BIA.